Hey everybody, Steve Haas coming to you live from Los Angeles, California. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, as some of you know, I've been answering some drumming questions via Twitter. My Twitter account is at H-A-S-S-B-E-A-T, at Hasbeat. So a couple of times a month, I'll be making these little videos uh, answering some of your drumming questions. This particular question comes from a great drummer in New York City, and it's actually a very common question that I get. His particular question uh, deals with a riff that I played at the end of uh, one of my videos. I believe it was a session warm-up video where we just taped a little bit uh, of, of me playing uh, before tracking. And it was kind of a David Garibaldi-inspired groove, and then I played some fills in there, and so I played a fill at the end that incorporated triplets between the hands and the feet and different combinations. But basically, I developed this by using an exercise that Dave Weckl taught in one of his videos. And uh, I added uh, one thing to it that makes it a lot harder. Um, but we'll get to that. The first thing, the basis of the exercise is taking all the hand and foot combinations in your vocabulary and playing them in uh, 16th note triplet fashion with a click and uh, improvising the placements of the groupings but trying to get a continuous flow of triplets so you're not really sure which grouping you're going to play and where it's going to come in but the, the whole concept is to just keep the triplet flow going between your hands and your feet and then if you're at a loss for a grouping play triplets, uh, you know, left, right, left, right, or right, left, right, left uh, in your hands just to keep the triplet flow going until you get another combination in your head. Um, in its simplest form, I use groupings of two, three, and four. And uh, the hard part that I added in is uh, playing eighth note time in your hi-hat foot. So you're going to get the chick, 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 chick throughout all of that. Um, and the combinations that I use are, are, are straight ahead to begin with. Uh, you know, I, I use fours, so it's right foot, right foot, foot, right foot, right, left foot, left foot, uh, foot, left foot, left, right, right foot, foot, and so on. Um, for the threes, I use foot, left, right. These are all classic uh, drum licks that we all play. Foot, left, right, foot, right, left, right, left foot. Uh, left, right, left, you know, and so on. Um, I'm not going to give you all the content because I, I feel it's pretty basic and you're probably playing a lot of it already. You know, doubles and singles uh, between the hands and the feet is very common. Um, so here's uh, the first example and I'm playing it at um, 100. It's not super slow, but I want you to get the idea of, of the outcome. You know, um, I suggest doing it much slower than this uh, when you begin. So here it is. It's uh, 16th note triplets against a uh, quarter note click at 100, um, trying to keep a nice flow around the kit with all these different hand and foot combinations.
the second version of this exercise, which wasn't a part of the question, but I figured I'd include it, is, is doing the same thing uh, in 30 second notes. Straight up, straight time, 30 second notes. Um, here I did it at uh, quarter note equals 90. Again, it's a little faster than I would show you if we were in a lesson, but I want you to get the, the vibe of the, the outcome. It's not too fast, it's about a medium tempo for this sort of thing. Um, so here it is. see there are many great benefits uh, to using this exercise. Um, aside from the uh, independence aspect, what I really love is the fact that you are truly improvising during this exercise. And this to me is very applicable in music and in an ensemble setting because you are not um, playing a rehearsed lick or riff. You know, you are improvising these hand and foot patterns, you're improvising where you're going to put them and you don't know what combination, could be any combination. And uh, with the riff in question, um, I'm not actually showing you guys what, the, what I actually played because I don't know myself. I know that what I played did come out of using this exercise. Um, and that's what will happen with you. You're going to be playing things that you've never played before. You know, and there may be some moments where you're tentative, you know, and that to me is uh, is true creation on the spot, true spontaneity. So um, I hope I answered your question and uh, I hope you enjoy playing this exercise. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the other thing you can do to make it more fun and, and less monotonous once you uh, master it is... Uh, Sing tunes, you know, take a standard, Softly as in the Morning, Sunrise, Darn That Dream, any American songbook tune, or even, you know, a rock tune, whatever, whatever you're listening to, and sing these songs while you're playing this exercise. And this will help you um, play in eight bar phrases. As you noticed, I was hitting some crashes uh, after four and eight bars while playing this exercise. It, it helps you put it into context. You know, um, and the other thing is you can take it a step further, which I've done, start incorporating quintuplets and septuplets and, you know, just take it somewhere, you know, make it your own. All right, cats. Well, it's been nice talking to you. Have a great day. And uh, the next video coming up will be on the traditional grip molar. <laughs>